Good evening space fans, it's time for another countdown and this time we are taking a look at the top 10 visual wonders in our nice guy. Kicking off our list is the galaxy next door. As spectacular as it is to see a galaxy for a telescope, Andromeda appears as just a cloudy patch of light for the most part, which is why it ranks 10th on our list. For its northern hemisphere, this galaxy is incredibly easy to spot in our night sky. A small pair of binoculars will help you identify this faint cloudy patch of light high above. At 2.5 million light years away, this island of over a trillion stars makes for a very humbling viewing. In number 9, we have one of the most vibrant deep sky objects in our entire night sky. The Ring Nebula is a delightful visual treat for amateur stargazers, and due to a quirk of human design, you can actually see the colours of this nebula better when you don't look directly at it, a trick known as averted vision. What it lacks in size, it makes up for in vibrancy. You can find it quietly sat in between the stars Sulafat and Shilayak in the constellation of Lyra. You may as well view Vega and her Dumbbell Nebula washed at it since they are also in the nearby vicinity. Number 8 sees us locate the God of War in our telescope's field of view. When viewing Mars you can usually just about make out some of its surface detail and in this case you can also just see a hint of its polar ice caps. Like all planets in our night sky there's no fixed time of year to view them. They also orbit around the sun which means in Mars's case the next best time to observe it is in November 2026. That's another year out from now, so keep your eye out for the red planet located in the constellation of Leo, not too far away from Jupiter, because when it does come around, it is spectacular. And in 7th place, we're looking at the 7 sisters through our telescope, and what a beautiful sight this is. To the naked eye, it only seems like there are 6 stars, but through even a pair of small binoculars, the true extent of this open star cluster is revealed. These young, hot blue stars make for a very easy deep sky target. You can find the 7 sisters this winter period located alongside Uranus. To the naked eye alone, this is certainly a top 3 target to explore in our night sky. It really does feel like opening a treasure chest when you use a visual aid like a pair of binoculars or a telescope to view it. Number 6 is the most beautiful binary star system in our night sky. It's hidden gems like this that make stargazing such an amazing hobby. So if you are enjoying this and you want to see more stargazing videos like it, then make sure you are subscribed to this channel. And if you want to know where to look in our night sky to find it, then look no further than the beak of the swan in Cygnus. This visual binary star system lies at the tip of it and is best explored throughout the summer months when your friends and family can withstand the temperatures outside a bit more. In 5th place we have the Great Globular Cluster in Hercules. Yeah sure, two stars are cool for a telescope, but what about several hundred thousand? The gentle glow of this star cluster makes for an exciting observation throughout the summer months. This is yet another dazzling summer target which you can find for your telescope relatively easy as the fuzziness of the cluster is very noticeable. Of the hundreds of thousands of stars in this cluster that we are looking at right now, I wonder how many of them are looking back at us. In fourth we have the heart of our night sky, witness the birth of new stars in this slightly grey looking stellar nursery. The Orion Nebula is one of the first deep sky objects amateurs will ever spot through their telescopes and with good reason. As far as directions go for finding these wonders of our night sky, it doesn't get any easier than this. Located just beneath the belt of Orion, you can find one of the coolest sites in our entire universe. Visible throughout the whole of autumn and winter, it is located within one of the most iconic constellations in history. If you haven't seen the Orion Nebula for yourself yet, what on earth are you waiting for? Our third spot is home to the most beautiful planet in our entire solar system. Saturn and its rings are a must for any astronomer, but maybe not so much right now since the angle of these rings relative to our point of view here on Earth makes them seem almost non-existent. It has been a very interesting year to view Saturn because for many people this is their favourite planet to view for a telescope, and yet for a couple of months when the rings were seemingly invisible when seen edge on, Saturn became a relatively boring gas giant. Not to fear though because it's now reaching its full viewing potential and there is no better time to explore it than right now. In second place it's our heavily cratered lunar companion. Contrary to what you might think, the best time to observe the moon isn't when it's fully illuminated, but rather around 50% since you get to explore its depth in far greater detail thanks to these huge shadows being cast by the sunlight. The moon's position changes every single second of every single day by a noticeable amount, so much so that telescope mounts have developed specialised tracking rates to follow the moon specifically. It is arguably the very best object to view for a telescope due to the significant level of detail we can see, but it misses out on the number one spot thanks to four particular reasons. And then finally, in our number one spot, the god of all planets, Jupiter. 
Not only is it exciting to view the different coloured bands that make up the atmosphere of this planet, but there are also four bonus attractions in these distinct points of light you can regularly see dancing around the planet. These are four of Jupiter's largest moons and depending on when you observe the gas giant, you may even see them casting a shadow onto the surface of the planet, which is insanely cool. For me, Jupiter and its moons are the coolest things to see for a telescope. They are incredibly unique, with each of the moons more exotic than the last. The planning of when is best to image the planet based on the shallow transits of each of the moons makes it such an exciting and complex target. Even a £50 pair of binoculars allows you to identify the positions of these moons as they dance around the biggest planet in our solar system. And there we have it. Do you agree with my rankings here? Let me know what your top visual wonders are in the comments down below. I'm the Telescope Man, and this was Astronomical.